Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Bonk's Adventure again. Making sure that that button is the one that allows me to headbutt as we enter 5-3. We started a little bit of round 5 last time. I also believe we completed round 3 and 4, which isn't really all that impressive when you know that, ow, that round 4 is really short. Come on. When you know that round four is really short. And I should really go for multiple headbutts at once on these guys. That would make everything so much better. And if you could stop eating me, that would be great. But hey, at least you gave me a heart for kicking your butt, so that's alright. All right. Get rid of you. Don't worry about health very much. We will find some soon. Get rid of you. And... Yeah, we may have to tingle with one more of these. Ah, oh, come on. I was about ready to get health. That was no fun. And I land right there on the thing. Now I'm taking really dumb damage. Anyway, you can probably see like a little bit of orange behind this wall here. If you press up, you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to get some health and some big meat. We definitely need the big meat because it will allow us to get around a little better. There's some more meat. I want to grab that. Keep the invincibility going just a little bit more. There we go. I'm pretty close to full health at this point, amazingly. And down there, if you can see where that little, the little specks of orange and blue are, that's another place we can go in, press up, and get a ton of, of melons as well as an extra life, which I will take. I will take all of that. And now, we need to be careful as we make our way further out I'm surprised that didn't hit me I'm surprised it returned so I could hit it ow and it amazes me how close to the spot I have to be at the uh, spikes to at the bottom just to hit all of these enemies but we have another hidden door here that we can enter. And in here, we got an extra life, a big heart, and a big meat. So let's go ahead and grab all of that. Now let's go ahead and swim around here. And thankfully, I was able to beat him up before the invulnerability expired. Ow. Well, I still had the anger from the meat, so I was still able to do that. Come on, get up there. There we go. Now we're just back to plain everyday bonk, who can now take damage from enemies. And speaking of enemies, we have these guys. Are you kidding me? I landed on you. Well, at least you gave me a heart, so that's not all bad. These little Triceratops statues, they will charge at you. If they see you. And they take a lot of hits to kill. They take a lot of damage before they finally go down. Some of them also fly around in midair. Which can be a pain. And I believe you allowed for some meat. And I may have to move away to either avoid you or just get rid of you entirely. Come on. Yeah, you want to take it slow in this section. Because stuff like that, you don't want to take a whole bunch of damage that you don't want to take. 
And I need you. Wow. Well, I can get a free hit on you. Because you fell in that green water, which does damage you, by the way. And you also want to be careful with the green water because it can damage you to the touch. And I want to see if I can get some meat. Probably the big meat. Got a little bit. And thankfully, I'm able to use these stairs to my advantage. So that way, in case I need to hit anything, come on. In case I need to hit anything, I can do it. A little more safely. Oh, come on. Might as well grab that heart while taking care of that guy in the egg helmet. I'm back to full health. And we are able to go over here. Now we got these little bony creatures that will spit bubbles out. If I can wait for them to get as far close enough to me as I possibly can, I won't have to worry about them getting in the way on a higher step. Thankfully, this is how the steps here go. So that's not going to be much of a problem. And I can just get away from him to get him out of my hair. Alright. These little skeleton dinosaur, these little dinosaur skeletons do take a lot of damage before going down. And you also want to be careful near the lava here because of stuff like that. And... The enemies probably coming up right on top of you when you make it to safe land. And I wanted that heart, and the game would not let me have it. Great. That was awful. Well, at least I can refill some health. And if I can not get hit by hot rocks, that would be great. Why did that hot rock get in the way? Get. Come on. Trying to take care of the enemies as best as I can, and I'm having a very hard time doing it. So this whole section, these whole few, these whole few sections after the elevator at the beginning of 5-3, you do want to take your time. Because that's when the game is going to be a jerk to you. And I lost that on the meat. Great. Well, at least I got a heart, so that's not all bad. I didn't lose as much health as I thought I would. And we have yet another section of this. This time around, these things are now on the ceiling, these little seed-spinning things. And we also have these little wizard-like enemies. These things take three head headbutts from midair to take out. And you want to watch the red flowers before you jump on them because a lot of them are going to be monsters. See if I can get a big meat out of you. Well, I can get a little meat. S round five, not very simple. It is possible to put yourself in a position that you don't want to be in. And it's a good thing that I did the headbutt while angered by with with the meat. Because I was able to get rid of him. You gave me nothing, amazingly. And you gave me a damage boost. If I'm using the word damage boost in any sort of way. Cor any sort of correct way, I should say. And this one red flower in particular gives you multiple fruits and veggies to eat. Which I do like. And I got me some meat. Cool. Let's see if I... Okay, I can hit you from down there and save myself a little bit of trouble. Cool. 
And now it is time for 5-4. I remember this very, very well. You jump on these platforms, they turn blue and split in two. You really want to huff it when you're on these platforms because it's a lot, it's quite a bit of a ways down if you mess up at any one point. As you will soon learn while playing this section of round five. And we now have these things coming back. Managed to get some health. And a little bit of meat. We also have those red guys in the green bubbles again. Did not think I would land on that, but I did. And we got the pterodactyls. Thankfully, I am more than ready enough to attack them should they ever come near me. Let me see if I can move you over here. I can. Took a little bit of damage to do that, but I'll do it. And as you can see, this whole beginning fraction of 5-4. Nothing more than a little vertical climb here and there. Or rather, the, it's a vertical climb the whole time. Got to do some platforming here and there, but it can be done. And thankfully, I was able to hover and slow my descent a little bit. Of course, we will have to deal with those two pterodactyls when we get closer to the top. And I will keep headbunning you guys. There we go. Had to concentrate a little bit there. I apologize. And now... Headbutt you first. And I thought the pterodactyl will come for me, but thankfully it did not. I'm surprised. I do want to go over here, though, because that'll get me another hidden room. Extra life, big heart, and a big meat. Want to make sure we get all of that and then go right on the attack here. Oh, I could have used that meat. Oh, well. Whoa. Okay, I went way too fast. Um, I need to land somewhere, game. Thank you. And I wanted to get that meat as well. I can't do it. I am doing very terrible at platforming right now, apparently. So let's see if we can do this again. There we go. Now we can get to this elevator. Somehow get into it before it opens fully. And then we can go into this area. And we are now in 5-5. Five five. Wow, we've seen that guy before. This clearly can't be the game being very foreshadowing about what we're about to encounter later on in this stage. This certainly can't be foreshadowing of any kind. This certainly isn't a vision of anything verboning. Oh, yeah, yes it is. I'm pretty sure you can tell just by looking at this that we're going to have a boss rush. And if you thought that, you're right. Also, you can break these tiles with your head. I'm not sure why, but you can. I guess they expect you to do that if you got bored and actually kind of just do that to wake you up a little bit. I guess. But anyway, we're now in an elevator. We're now, we've now got some meat. And we are now able to climb up this, this little elevator here. Okay, that leads to nothing. Okay. There are enemies that you will have to deal with. There's a lot of enemies that you can also headbutt. There's also a lot of 
things that you can pick up for food and health and whatnot. And points. Can't forget about the points. And you want to be sure to press up when you're in the center of all these platforms. Because this is how you're going to find some food and some big meat. And even a way to get through this little section of 5-5 five, five a little faster. Simply because you're going to have a lot of fruit to pick up. A lot of enemies to beat up too. If you can beat up the enemies for points, so be it. Do want to press up right here. We got ourselves a bunch of bananas. I will definitely take them. I need all the points that I can get anyway. Also, 10 lives, that's not bad. I'm surprised I have, well, I did die once in this video. It was really early and it was because of a dumb mistake on my part. And I need to not deal with you. Alright, we got another platform that we can rest on. We might as well go to it. Because this will probably lead to yet another door. There we go. I just had to micro-position myself. So that way I could actually get the up, eh, the up button on the control pad to actually take me to the door like it should have. Gonna beat up some of these guys. And I will have to do a little bit of exploring here. I don't think that leads to anything. Okay, none of that leads to anything. I wonder. Do you lead to anything? And I almost dropped off the face of the earth there. Yes, there is a door here. Awesome. Might as well grab the big meat, make it a little easier to get up to the top a little bit. And then, I should be able to make it over to here. Is there a door here? There is. And we have ourselves a bunch of melons, which I will definitely take. And we have another extra life. Nice. I will take it. And since I'm angry, I can freeze that guy too. That's cool. There's the elevator. Does, okay, there's nothing over there. So let's go ahead and take the elevator. I don't think there's anything down there if we drop. So we might as well just go ahead and take the elevator. And here is King Drool. He throws down four eggs. This actually does not lead to a boss battle. Not yet. But you do have this little bit of area that you can explore. I'm definitely going to go down here for an extra life. Kind of cool that that's there. I'll take it. What do you lead to? Alright, you lead to a bunch of bananas. I will take all the bananas. What could you possibly lead to? I wonder. Okay, that is just a cloud. I thought that was an actual platform there for a second. Well, we do need to just use this to get further around over here. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything much to the left, so let's just go ahead and, you know, just stop right here because I'm reaching 20 minutes and I know that I'm going to have a whole bunch of bosses to face once I go through this door. So, join me next time where we go through the big bad boss rush at the end of Bonk's Adventure. Hopefully these 12 lives that I have will be enough. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!